I'm Christine Co. in the E3 Konami studio with Kevin Flaming, the brand manager of Metal Gear Solid. Hi, Kevin. Hi. Very happy to have you. So we have a couple questions about the Metal Gear Solid HD collection on Vita. So do you want to introduce it and let us know why we put the platform on Vita? So the reason we brought it to the Vita is, and I mean, there's a few reasons. I mean, obviously on the go, bringing two of the best uh, titles from the franchise. So we've got Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, Sons of Liberty, and Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. But bringing it to the Vita, it just made a lot of sense with the HD quality right. graphics, the unique touchscreen capabilities on the back, on the back, the touchpad, and the, and the touchscreen on the front. Just made a lot of sense. And, you know, with our transferring feature where you can transfer your saves from, you know, your PS3 to your Vita without skipping a beat, you know, uh, take off, uh, start where you left off. I mean, just made a lot of sense bringing it over to the Vita. Yeah, so for newcomers uh, to the game, do you think that they should play in chronological order or in the order that they were released? I'd say they, they can play it both ways. I mean, it just depends on, you know, their, their preference that they played it before. Right. I mean, you did ask about newcomers. I'd say I'd recommend it as the way they were released just because that's the way the story flows. But, you know, if they, you know, if they want to start chronological order, they can feel free to do it that way. Right, so what you Unique functions are included on the Vita version. Oh, where do I start? I mean, obviously the unique touchscreen capabilities. That's right. really oh, you know, what we want to do. Is when we brought it to the Vita, we really wanted to focus on giving the the newcomers as well as you know the the veterans a unique experience, but without being intrusive to the game. Mm -hmm. So you know when we brought it over, we thought you know how can we put these controls in there with, again without you know messing up the experience. And I think we succeeded. I mean you know with Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, you've got it. You know when you've got your knife uh, equipped, you can do a quick stab. So if yeah. you've got a bunch of NPCs around you, you know, you want to lay waste mm -hmm. them or, you know, get them away from you, you can take their temperature, you know, right. hit them with the knife a little bit, where, you know, with the other versions that were released on consoles, you know, previously, you didn't have that ability. Right. The other thing, you've got cutscenes, you know, where you can zoom and pan in, so if someone wants to see, is that a cigar, you know, snake's got it in his mouth, you know, is, is, does he blink, etc. you know, they can zoom in and pan around and, you know, look at all the cutscenes. So, Kevin, which of the two games are your favorite? Oh, I would definitely say it's Metal Gear Solid uh, 3 Snake Eater. Oh, why? Just, I would, just the... The, the environment being in the jungle and stuff, it just, you know, you play a snake, it just, uh, to me, it's what I grew up playing. Right. I, I just, I remember playing it three or four times through when it first came out. Yeah, I love that. Absolutely loved it. You know, I mean, and again, you know, you can always go back to the Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2 on the MSX. It's a tough choice, but I would definitely, if I had to choose, which I think is what you want me to do, <laughs> so I would that's say, the question. yeah, definitely three. <laughs> definitely three, Snake Eater. So what's your favorite way to take down an enemy then? Oh, grab them, sneak up behind them, grab them, choke them, interrogate them a little bit. And, you know, and, and I mean, just to touch on that, the way I interrogate them is you can actually squeeze the system. So if you touch the back touchpad, you yeah. can interrogate them that way. Normally it's a button push, which, you know, for those that, you know, played the game before, you, can, you still have your buttons, you can push, but if you mm -hmm. want to, you know, the unique Vita uh, experience, you can just squeeze the back of the system and you'll squeeze their neck, get their intel out of them, and then that's wow. it. And then you just use the knife and... Yeah. Take care of them, if you will. <laughs> so that's definitely a reason why you should play it on the Vita versus the console. Absolutely. I, you know, the, the nice thing is, again, I think I've already touched on it, was the transferring. You know, mm -hmm. you can play half the game on your PS3. Let's say you have a flight or something to get to, you know, the next morning. You can just transfer your saves over the cloud or through Wi-Fi over to your PlayStation Vita wow. and on the go. And the nice thing is, it's on the go. I mean, not, yeah. I don't see a lot of people carrying their, you know, PS, PS3s around or their Xboxes, but, you know, definitely the Vitas. Right. So it's definitely more in your life because you have... Uh, um, Absolutely. To it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the portability. portability. Yeah. And, and the HD graphics. So, you know, right. the, way, the way I like to explain is it's the console experience and handheld device, and you can't say that much about it. Yeah, you can't be that. So, anymore. and, you know, and again, you know, with the robustness of the game, you've had over 30 hours of gameplay. I don't know about you, but I can't sit on the couch for 30 <laughs> hours. Yeah. So it's nice to get up and, you know, walk around and, you know, take it where you need right, to go. Right, and then so. completely pick back up and it's Absolutely. right back where you left Not it. Not skip a beat and then transfer it back, you know, back and forth. Yeah. Or transfar it, as we like to say. So. Amazing. Oh, my gosh. Well, Thank you, Kevin, Thank so you very much. much. Really appreciate you having much. you. Thanks. Well, that's a wrap We're at, with our interview for a Metal Gear Solid HD collection. For more information, please check out Facebook.com slash Metal Gear. We'll see you guys soon. Konami.